Hello there. Good afternoon. Did you miss me? I sure miss you all. The podcast is about one of my favorite genres of music. Blues is the style, is the genre of all times, the greatest genre that uses great guitar solos, great voices, and let's call it like it is, blues is magic. Back Old Town Blues, Louis Armstrong is the beginner for today. My name is Sylvia Dos Santos, and I'll keep you company with great music and great facts about this amazing genre, blues. Cue the music, ladies and gentlemen. Living way back of town. Yes, yes, she treated me right. Never let me down. But I wasn't satisfied. I had to run around. Get out of here, Belmo. <laughs> Now she's gone and left me. I'm worried as can be. Yes, I've searched this world all over, wondering where she could be. I don't know. I must ask her to forgive me. Maybe she'll come back to me. But I doubt it. <laughs> Now I'm lonesome and blue. And I've learned a thing or two. Yes, fellas, here's a tip. I'm gonna pass on down to you. Let on, let on. Shall I tell him everything? Tell him everything. Okay. Never mistreat your woman because it's gonna bounce right back on you. That ain't no stage joke either, daddy. <laughs> is a music genre and musical form which was originated in the deep south 
of the United States around uh, around 1870s, still only 18, by African Americans from roots in African music um, traditions, African American work songs and spirituals, blues incorporated spirituals, work songs, field hollers, shouts, chants, and rhyme simple narrative ballads. The blues form ubiquitous, ubiquitous, oh yes, ubiquitous, and jazz, rhythm and blues, and rock and roll is characterized by the colonial response pattern, the blues scale, and specific chord progressions. Well, blues is a genre, a genre is also characterized by its lyrics, bass lines, and instrumentation, like, like all those guitar solos, you know what I mean, for those who love blues like I do, and there's a lot of us fans of blues. Early traditional blues verses consisted of a single line repeated four times. And it's related um, by um, that part of history where relating um, slavery. The first appearance of the blues is often dated after the ending of slavery and later the development of juke joints. It's uh, associated with the newly acquired freedom of the former slaves. Chroniclers began to report about blues music at the dawn of the 20th century. We will listen to um, John Mayer. It's one of the cutest songs he has with his John Mayer Trio. The song is live, recorded after midnight. Hope you enjoy as much as I do. He's a beginner, but he's learning fast with the best ones.
I just know you loved this guitar solo by John Mayer. Is he's a good, he's a good um, musician, guitarist. Um, one of the young guys that is maintaining the the sound of blues, even with a pop style. But you know what I mean. And one of the new guys just like John Mayer is Daniel Castro with the song I'll play the bo the blues for you and it's one of my uh, suggestions for you to listen these new guys that are appearing in the the blues scene of nowadays is my suggestion Daniel Castro. If you're down and out and you hurt real good Come on over to the place I work, in all your loneliness, I'll try to soothe, I'll play the blues. Don't be afraid Come on in You might run across Some of your old friends In all your loneliness I'll try to soothe Play the blues for you Sky is crying. Gary B.B. Coleman will make us company, keep us company. And uh, let's learn a little bit more, if you don't mind, about this amazing music genre, blues, secular folk music created by African-Americans. 
in the early 20th century. The sky is crying. Originally in the South, the simple but expressive forms of the blues the down the became by the 1960s one of the most important influences on the development of popular music throughout the United States. The sky is crying. Can't you see the tears roll down the street? Although instrumental accompaniment is almost universal in the blues, the blues is essentially a vocal form. Blues songs are lyrical rather than narrative. Blues singers are expressing feelings rather than telling stories. The emotion expressed is generally one of the sad saddest or sadness or melancholy often due to problems in love <laughs> and I chose this song especially because it expresses what I, ju what I just said um, due to problems in love Sky is Crying is one of the most beautiful lyrics And Gary B.B. Coleman sings it like no one can. So, cue the music. She was walking on down the street You not hurt me so bad, y'all It made my poor heart skip a this musically blues performers use vocal techniques such as melisma sustaining a single syllable across several pitches my baby don't love me no more Rhythmic techniques such as syncopation and instrumental techniques such as choking or bending guitar strings on the neck or applying a metal slide or bottleneck to the guitar strings to create a whining voice like sound.
African influences are apparent in the blues tonality, the call and response pattern of the repeated refrain structure of the blues stanza. The falsetto break in the vocal style and the imitation of vocal idioms by instruments, especially the guitar and harmonica. And I, I truly believe that this song, The Sky is Crying uh, by Gary Bibi Coleman, really reflects the harmony between the guitar and the voice and the lyrics the story behind the lyrics you know what I mean this song warms my heart it's just perfect On a different note, on a different note, I chose one of the coolest voices, rusty voices. Uh, I already post uh, one song of this guy in one of the other podcasts I did, uh, the other episodes. But this is this blues style. You can, um, you can't say you don't know this voice. He's really famous for this rusty voice. The Hustler, ladies and gentlemen, with you, one of my favorite voices of all times, Chris Rea. Everybody knows my name. Well, I can get all around you while you think I stand still. The way you tell me you won't lets me know that you will. The last thing you tell them is what you came here for. They're never gonna find out till you're way out the door. Yeah, I'm the hustler. And I'm playing my favorite game. Everybody knows my name You got to love the work you do How long it takes ain't important to you Don't care what's in it Loving every minute Every minute, every hour, every second of the day Little by little
the blues, it runs through all American music, somebody banding the note, the other is two bit groove, it's in New Orleans music, it's in jazz, it's in country music, it's in gospel, like Wynton Marsalis said once, when you are through with the blues, you've got nothing to rest on, Mahalia Jackson said that. Blues is a tonic for whatever hails you. I could play the blues and then not be blue anymore. Who said that? B.B. King, one of the kings of blues. Unfortunately, I don't have a B.B. King song today. I, I don't have a lot of time in this podcast to put all the amazing music and songs that it is and it reflects the good old blues and the new style of blues because there are various styles of blues. Uh, but what I have in store for you today is, is quite enough, I think. So I hope you enjoy. And what else? I got a lot of strong sentences about blues The blues brings you back into the fold. The blues isn't about the blues. It's about we have all had the blues. And we are all in this together. Peter Tork, in quote. In blues music, there's a lot of borrowing. So it's often difficult to identify the originator of a, a song. Henry Rollins said that and I agree with him. Blues is easy to play, but hard to feel. And this is... And Jimi Hendrix is right. Uh, we are not listening to Jimi Hendrix. We could have, but like I said, I don't have the time that I wanted. But this uh, phrase he had, this quote, blues is easy to play, but hard to feel. I think I saw an angel just walk by. And I must say, this guy feels it. And it feels it. It makes us feel it. Like blues should make us feel. Buddy guy. What kind of woman is this? Cue the music. There goes a sight from my eyes. There goes a sight from my eyes. Now there goes a sight from my eyes. What kind of woman is this? You should be like a pretty girl. It's probably the music that belongs most to our time. Michael Tippett, in quote. Particularly with the blues, 
it's not just about bad times. Girls. It's about the healing spirit, Taj Mahal. Well, hey, there's always some good-looking girls hanging around this famous place. Talking about legends now. Blues is to jazz what yeast is to breed bread. Yeast is to bread <laughs> without it. It's flat. Carmen McRae. A woman is this mm-hmm. What kind of woman is this Blues is a natural fact It's something that a fellow lives kind of If you don't this? live you, If you don't live it You don't have it Ooh. What kind of woman is this Young people have forgotten yeah. to cry the blues Now they talk and get lawyers and things. Big. <laughs> Bill Bronzy. But I, I don't think I fully agree with this. Um, just a minute. I will show you that there are new, new faces, new voices. And the um, blue scene. Tell me. Young people can do blues as well. Ooh, 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 ooh. But yes, I agree. They aren't like Buddy Guy or BB King or <laughs> you name it. But God damn it, they are pretty close. What kind of woman is this? And uh, one of the young bloods, young people that know how to play the blues, how to sing the blues, how to make us feel the blues is. Gary Clark Jr. with his stunning song and voice. Bright lights for you now. Woke up, woke up in New York City lying on the floor Just I Outside of Marcy's West 54 Wow You gonna know my name By the end of the night Yeah You gonna know my name By the end of the night Wow
you are agreeing with me right now. Yeah, it's a bit rusty on the edges, but it's one of the best, Gary Clark Jr. Blues are ain't going nowhere. It can get slow, but it ain't going nowhere. Blues are very much alive. The blues comes right back to a person's feelings, to his daily activities in life. But rich people don't know nothing about the blues. Please believe me, Jimmy Rushing, in quote. The blues tells a story in itself. It can make you happy or give you a feeling to swing. Blues is the bedrock of everything I do. All the characters in my plays, their ideas, their attitudes, the stance that they adopt in the world are all ideas and attitudes that are expressed in the blues. Who said that? August Wilson did. If this is, if this isn't blues, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's a bit different from Buddy Guy, B.B. King, Eric Clapton, you know, or B.B. Coleman, uh, but it's blues anyway. Now, for, for those who like the good old blues, the oldies, <laughs> the old blues, Count Basie Trio is one of the oldest, but also one of the best sounds in all the styles of blues. Blues in C is the name of the song. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Count Basie Trio.
Those are the roots and the other musics are the fruits. <laughs> It's better keeping the roots alive because it means better fruits from now on. The blues are the roots of all American music. As long as American music survives, so will the blues. Who said that? Willie Dixon As we are listening to the Count Basie Trio Blues in C Everything comes out in blues music Joy, pain, struggle A lot of struggle Blues is an affirmation with absolute Elegance Winton Masalis said that, and Henry Rollins said the blues is losing someone you love and not having enough money to immerse yourself in alcohol. Blues is not a dream, blues is truth. Brownie McGee. Funk, gospel, blues is all out of slavery times, out of depression, out of sorrow. Nina Simone, the legendary Nina Simone said that. The blues are the true facts of life expressed in words and song, inspiration, feeling and understanding. You don't have to live the blues to play the blues. Irby Mann. In quote, without the blues, modern music will be nothing like it is now, not remotely. The blues is the foundation, and it's got to carry the top. The other part of the scene, the rock and roll, rock and roll and the jazz, are the walls of the blues. Luther Allison. The blues is an impulse to keep the painful details and episodes of a brutal experience alive in one's aching consciousness, to finger its jacked grain and to transcend it, not by the consolation of philosophy, but by squeezing from it a near tragic, near comic lyricism. As a form, the blues is an autobiographical chronicle of personal catastrophe expressed lyrically. Ralph Allison, in quote. The blues. The blues. The sound of a sinner on a revival day. William Christopher Handy. And now... To end this podcast, hope you enjoyed. We will listen to the late and missed A Bill Withers. William Harrison Withers Jr. is his real name, a.k.a. Bill Withers. He left us to sing in heaven on March 30th. Yes. Just the other day, he died from a long illness. Um, we will miss this guy. He sang a lot of songs like Lean On Me, Lovely Day, Just The Two Of Us, on my personal playlist. Just The Two Of Us is there. Ain't No Sunshine, who doesn't know that. He won three Grammy Awards, nominated for six more. His life was the subject of the 2009 documentary film Still Bill. Gotta watch that uh, suggestion for you all if you want to watch that. Still Bill is the documentary film about Bill Withers and uh, it deserves the attention, fully deserves. Uh, and it's sad to think he just left us on the March 30th 
he um, he was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2015 with his work as a professional musician for just 15 years from 1970 to 1985 after which he moved on to other occupations so his style is genres among uh, amongst uh, soul R&B uh, smooth soul funk he sang the blues oh yeah associated like Groover Washington Jr I love that guy also one of these days I'll put a song on so for now we will listen to Bill Withers to as a farewell song uh, as a, an homage for me and from all the fans to him may you rest in peace Bill Withers the song we're listening to is who is he and what is he to you I will put that from the beginning for you to listen. I hope you enjoyed the podcast about blues, one of my favorite music genres, but I love all type of music, all type. <laughs> I read music as you gather by now. So we will listen the song from the beginning as Bill Withers surely deserves. So the song Who Is He? What Is He to You? is the bluesy style for amongst the other songs he played all his life. This song is the most bluesy, you know, in the blues scene. Hope you enjoy. Bye-bye, see you next time. A man we passed just tried to stare me down And when I looked at you, you looked at the ground I don't know who he is, but I think that you do. That gummy duck, who is he and what is a he to you? I had something in my heart. Who is he and what is a he 